Question number 22 for Linear Relations EQAO practice questions for Grade 9 Applied. Evelyn offers an online tutoring service. The table below shows the linear relationship between the cost she charges C and number of questions asked Q. So C is the cost and Q is the number of questions that she helps students with. According to this relationship, which is Evelyn's charge if a student asks her 40 questions? So notice the question mark by the 40 here. We're given that 16 questions cost 14 and 60 will cost 25. So first of all, we're going to find the rate. Now our rate is rise over run and we actually have two complete ordered pairs here. So from 16 to 60, that's 44 questions. 60 minus 16. So there's a difference of 44 questions from here to here. Now, the those 44 questions cost $11. So the difference between $14 and $25 is $11. So the rate, remember, this is the rise, this is the run over here. So the rise is $11, that's the $11. For 44 questions, that's the run. 11 divided by 44 is 0.25. Now, if you keep the units, uh, you'll understand better what the rate represents. So this is dollars per question. So she's charging 25 cents per question to help somebody with. Now, so since, since she charges 25 cents per question, then we, now we want to find the charge for 40 questions. So what we, one thing you can do, I'm going to show this two different ways, to go from the 16 to the 40, Okay, that's an extra, we'll bring the calculator back here. So 40 minus 16, that's an extra 24 questions. Let's move that over here. So that's an extra 24 questions she's being asked above the 14. Okay, so we're going from the 14. So for 16 costs $14, now we're gonna ask an, an extra 24. So what we're gonna do is take that 24 extra questions and we know that she's charging 25 cents for each one. So she's going to charge $6 above the 14 because 14, 16 questions cost $14. So she's being asked 24 extra questions. So it's going to be $6 higher than the 14. So that goes up by six. So this number would have to be 20 here. So that's one way to get that for 40 questions she's going to charge $20. Now we could also find, let's erase this here, we could also find the equation because we've already kind of found half of it now that we know that she's, that's the rate right there. Okay, so we could go, well let's go back to if she wasn't asking any, back 16 here. So if uh, we go back the charge here for 16 questions, So 16 questions at 25 cents a question. Okay, so we're gonna go back $4. So this would be back $4 from the 14. So this charge must be 10 in here because that would be the difference. The first difference from 10 to 14 is four. Uh, so $10 must be the fixed cost because if no, no questions cost $10, it's kind of like your sign up fee or your registration fee. So the equation then would be the charge is 25 cents per question. So we'll call, we call it Q, the number of questions, plus that fixed $10. So if we take our calculator over here again and go 0 0.25 times 40 questions, whoops, 0.25 plus the $10, once again we get $20. So 40 questions will be, should be charging $20 for them. And that's the end of the solution.